All righty. So volunteering. Can you start reading for us, please, Homo? Yeah, volunteering. Change the world one step at a time. Have you ever given your friend time to help others or your community? If so, you are not alone. An estimated one billion people around the world participate in the volunteer work. In addition, to helping those in need and, make, and making the world a better place to live. Volunteering can be a great way to learn, use of skills, reduce stress, and make new friends. Could you spell estimated, please? Yes, T I M E D. Like this? No, no, uh, after the E is T E D. Uh, okay. Made it. Okay. So estimated. You think yeah. of this? Something like that, not sure. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. So, so let's go with the, the audio together. Volunteering. Changing the world one step at a time. Have you ever given your free time to help others or your community? If so, you're not alone. An estimated 1 billion people around the world participate in volunteer work. In addition to helping those in need and making the world a better place to live, Volunteering can be a great way to learn useful skills, reduce stress, and make new friends. Many people find volunteer opportunities through local charities. Through local? Charities. You can do it too, Mary. Let's go. Can you please spell that? C H. Sorry. E. R E no I E no I Peraí. T T I I E S including organizations that provide food and shelter for the homeless and groups that promote animal welfare. Welfare. How do you spell it? You see, it's all fun and games when it's just tell what you heard, but to spell it. If nobody wants to do it. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes it's hard. <laughs> yeah, so tell me, how do you spell it, guys? Uh, double. W E L F I. R E. You think it's like this? Yeah, I think so. I hope Let's so. See. Yeah, I hope so. Some people give back to their community by working on local conservation projects. Conservation? Uh, yeah, sorry, it's welfare. It, I think so. Change. Sorry. You, so, you, you want to change the welfare? I think and it's. They, I for A? Yes. Instead yes. of I, it's A? It's in the like this? No. Yeah? It's, it's I. Welfare. No, I think that's no. It's A. I don't know. <laughs> Told you, the hard part is not to say it. It's welfare but I, yeah but i think it's right about it okay some people give back to their community by working on local i didn't hear it you didn't hear it no Did you, because, because i was thought about welfare 
conservation. Conservation product, projects. How would you spell conservation? C O N S I R No. Uh, yeah. yeah. Não, tá, tava certo. Uh, yeah. V I A No. A T E I O N Tutoring disadvantaged students. Do you know? I hear opportunities through local charities, including organizations that provide food and shelter for the homeless and groups that promote animal welfare. Some people give back to their community by working on local conservation projects, tutoring disadvantaged students, or tutoring. Spell Now there is a R before the I. R-I-N-G. Tutoring. Yeah. All righty. Let's see. Coaching youth sports teams. Other people choose to donate their time at Donate. How do you spell donate? I know it sounds silly sometimes. Sometimes. N A. N A T A no I T E no E E E E that's right. <laughs> Mari, can you read for us, please? Many people find volunteer opportunities through local charities, including organizations, charities, including organization that provide food and shelter for the home, homeless and groups that promote animal welfare. Some people give back to their community by working on local conservation projects, tutoring disadvantaged students, or coaching youth, youth. youth sport teams. Or the people choose to donate their time at large cultural events such as music festivals and the athletic competitions. Very good. Now let's go. Large cultural events such as music festivals and athletic competitions. Skills-based volunteering or SBV is a type of volunteering that allows professionals to use their talent and experience to make an impact. To make an impact. How do you spell it? E M P A C T S. An impact? You sure? Is impact or impact? Because we have make an impact. In? For yeah, plural, yeah. you sure? In this case, I don't think so because it's their, ex, their Thailand experience to make an impact. Impact. So okay. It's not Okay. Yes. Yes. For example, volunteer doctors and nurses often help out after a natural disaster. After a natural disaster. A natural disaster. How do you spell it? Mariana, help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Help out. 
looked after natural <laughs> disasters, Mary. Yeah. You're muted, honey. Natural disaster. What do you think? Natural N I A T U R A L. E disaster. I think e, e, e S I S. E. 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 S. T. E. 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 R. E. R. I think is this true. In the same way, a web designer may create a website for a nonprofit at no charge. Some companies even have their own SBV programs and give their employees paid time off to take part in them. Go home, please. Uh, skill, uh, uh, starting skills, yes? Yes. Yeah, skill-based volunteering, volunteering, or SBV is a type of volunteering that allow professionals to use their talent and experience to make an impact. For example, volunteer doctors and nurses often help, uh, help out after natural disaster. In the same way, a web design may create a website for a nonprofit, nonprofit at no charge. Some companies even have the, their own SBV programs and give their employers pay time off to take part in that. Very good. Now the last one. Oh, now the last one. Volunteering overseas is another option for those. Volunteering? Overseas. Overseas. How do you spell overseas? You are overseas right now, home. Yes, O V E R S E A S. Those who want to make a difference. Volunteer travel organizations offer people the chance to support communities around the world in many areas, including education, healthcare, and construction. While making meaningful contributions to communities abroad, volunteers also gain the benefits of an international experience. Oh, Marriott, all right? Sorry. Volunteer overseas is another option for you. To those, those who want to make a difference. Volunteer travel organization of offer people the chance to support communities around the world in many areas, including education, healthcare, and construction. While making mean mean meaningful meaningful, meaningful contribution to com communities abroad, abroad. Volunteer also, also gain the benefits of our international experience. In some parts of the world, volunteering is a mandatory part of schooling. Is a Mandatory. Mandatory. M I N A D A T O R I N G Angie? I don't know. So, I think he's mandatory. For example, in some US states and Canadian provinces. Or 
or mandatory? I think it's mandatory, but I'm not sure. Oh, if, do you want to keep it or do you want to change it? The mandatory part. I think it's mandatory. So, it's no a, IG? No, I don't think so. I'm not sure. You know what goes in the same place? It's, uh, I don't know, Ypsilon. I don't know in English. Ypsilon. Why? Why, mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Why? High school students must complete a certain number of volunteer hours before they can graduate. 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 How do you spell graduate? G R A D U T E. Gradu graduate. Is uh, before after the U there is a E. No, it's, it's uh, gradu. A, A, oh yeah, it's A. Uh, <laughs> A. Okay. Many educators argue that mandatory volunteering helps students to understand the needs of people in their community. However, some people feel that teenagers shouldn't be forced to volunteer as it causes anxiety and resentment. What do you think? Do the pros of required volunteerism outweigh the cons? Anxiety and resentment? Yeah. 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 Many educators argue that mandatory volunteering helps students to understand the needs of people in their community. However, some people feel that teenagers shouldn't be forced to volunteer as it causes anxiety and resentment. Resentment. Re resentment. Resentment. How do you spell resentment? I don't know. No idea. I think it's R E S E N T. M E N T. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, you didn't read that one, but I'm going to let you read it. Ooh, you've got 11 out of 12. It probably Estimated. <laughs> it's an A. Mated. Okay. Mate. That's right. Who read the. No, it's you. Home, go, please. Is in some parts of the world, volunteering is a mandatory part of schooling. For example, in some U.S. states and Canadian provinces, high school students must complete a certain number of volunteer hours before they can graduate. Many educators argue that mandatory volunteering helps students to understand the needs of people in their community. However, some people feel that they shouldn't be forced to volunteer because of anxiety and resentment. Anxiety. Anxiety. Uh, what do you think? Uh, do the what do you think, guys? Oops, sorry. Also oh, sorry. Required volunteerism outweighs the cons. So what do you think, guys? Do you think the pros are like better or bigger than the cons or what do you think? Yeah, for me, I, I did some uh, volunteer, volunteer works. So it's, I just get cross. Did you listen to that? What's happened? I'm sorry, that was my neighbor. Okay. I'm really sorry, but <laughs> so I was going to say, I got a bit, a little bit lost. I'm sorry, let me close it. These children, anyways. So oh, do you think it actually causes anxiety for those who are obligated to do volunteering or do you think no? Yeah, I think we need to, to do uh, 
when you, we are prepared for that, because we need to to give for people something good. If you we are not good with ourselves, you cannot ask something good for the for those people. Sometimes it's hard. So you think it is better for them to be expected to do by themselves, right? Yeah, when they they they, they think they are prepared for that. Do you think they're going to be prepared someday? Or do you think some people is just like not going to do it? Mariana? What? Uh, please help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> do you think this is something that everybody's going to take at one stage of their lives? Or do you think it's something and it's not for everybody? Depends. You think it depends? Have you yeah. ever do have you ever done volunteering? Yeah, but uh, I toys. For example, I volunteer in my my birthday. I LPD. And I asked. I asked to gift a uh, fraude geriátricas. Okay, so... But I have think... many times to volunteer, yeah? Tem gente que, I think... I believe not just... Not just for charity, right? You can volunteer yes. to help someone, you can volunteer to help your cousin, you can volunteer to help a colleague, right? right? There are very many different types of volunteering. It's a work. Yes. You, you can work with animal, with helping people, environment, uh, in some uh, events like, uh, as Mariana told for in the last class, uh, in the World Cup, that we can make a volunteer work. So. There is many different kinds of volunteering that we can do. Yeah. And also, Mary, when you asked for, let me search about the, I know fraudes is diapers, but I'm not sure about geriatrica. It's uh, elder diapers. Elders diapers? El elder diapers. Yes, you can also you... say geriatric diapers. Elder diapers. Yeah, okay. Geriatric. Elders or geriatrics. Diapers. Okay. Yeah. So, thinking about that, Mariana, when you asked for geriatric diapers, you also made other people volunteer. You, not forced, but you forced them to volunteer, don't you think? Because you asked for something instead of another thing. How did you donate it? Sorry? Where to and how? How did you find out? Como foi que você descobriu que podia doar? I found to donate uh, one coisa, something, uh, something, and I, my daddy remember the Laureano. Mm -hmm. Laureano Hospital. Yeah, and it's my my birthday. It is in April, and I think don't have a donate uh, in this epoch. Don't. Yeah. What's your birthday date? To April 2. April 2nd. I'm April 27th. 27th? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were from April. April, sorry. Yeah. You are Aries? No. No, I'm a Taurus. I was going yeah. to ask <laughs> you're an Aries, right? Yeah, I'm Aries. Mm -hmm. The same yeah. sign of Clabion. Clebio. Oh, yeah, because he's the 21st of March. The first day of the, the first day, Aries. 
Yes, and the last one is the 20th of April, right? 20th, because my my grandfather is 21 and the, my grandfather is Taurus. To Taurus, to 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 that's right. And you, Homo, when's your birthday? 11th of June. June 11th. I only yes. know about my, my month, so I'm sorry. I don't know your sign. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that, <laughs> but I only do, I only know about mine. June, June. Okay. June. June eleven is. Do you know? Capricorn. No. No. No, I think it's two. Two, two face. <laughs> Gemini. Yeah. Oh, Gem okay, Gemini. <laughs> I think it's. Funny because we don't say twins, right? We say Gemini. Gemini. When it's about I speak, I speak cancer. Cancer? No, uh, I, my, my father is 24, June 24, and, um, this, and the, he is cancer. Yeah, my mom is, my mom is 22 of June, and she, she is, is uh, cancer? I think so. Not sure. Yeah. I don't know the no. days that start and finish the, the yeah, I only know about my my yes. <laughs> pretty much it. So oxymorons, let's review about them. Um, can you read for us, please, Homo? Phrase made with contradic contradictionary terms. And oxymoron is a combination of two contradictory terms. Example, when something is mandatory, you must must to do do it you have no choice when you volunteer you do so by choice not mandatory mandatory volunteering is an oxymoron do you also feel like oxymoron sounds like uh like something from harry potter because i do oxymoron. i yeah. don't know why but it sounds like something from harry potter doesn't it <laughs> Oxymoron. Do you know any any examples of oxymorons? Two contradictory terms. Something like contradictory terms. Mm. What do you think? Any ideas or no? Mm, not now. Not really. It's okay. Don't worry. Let's explain the oxymoron. Can you read this one, Maddie, please? Open secret. Can you read the full sentence? A super secret. It's a, actually, it means like um, livre beth, let's say. Uh, yeah. Like In Portuguese, it's not an oxymoron. But in English, yes, because it's open. If it's like secret is not open. Yeah, like they do not tell everybody. Mm -hmm. Still, everybody knows. Do you know that couple? Everybody knows they're a couple, but they just don't tell anybody. So it's like an mm -hmm. open secret. Okay. Yeah. This one, can you read for us, Homo, please? You will need to show an original copy of your passport to get a visa. Show original copy. Yeah, if so. Oh, wait. Of your passport. <laughs> it makes you think, original. right? Original copy. It's not, if so, a copy is not original. Exactly. A copy. <laughs> And we have it in Portuguese, copy original, yes. right? Yes, it's yes. It's because you go to the, like you go somewhere and you make it original, right? Yeah, authentication, like authentication. If you, yeah. Yeah, if, if you take a copy of your uh, paper and then make a, uh, I forgot the word that I said right now. It's a, uh, Authentication of that document, the, the, the copy, it's like original. <laughs> okay. Could be, could be. Could be. So it makes <laughs> sense. It's the original copy of something. How is that original if it's the copy? 
Yeah. Is it because it's the first copy ever made? Not sure. <laughs> so this one, Homo, please. Uh, the only choice available in the bakery was chocolate pie. If it's the choice. It's only choice, there is one um, that one more option. <laughs> that's right. So how could that be in a choice if you don't have other options? Yeah. That's right. This one, um, Mary. Well, here comes. Not Yeah, now, yeah. Can you see it? Uh, here comes the police, just acting naturally. <laughs> what do you think about this one? I think it's... Uh, do... I don't know. 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 Uhum. É o que você está fazendo, né? Você, you don't, se você não tiver errado. É. Kind of, kind of. When you are acting something, are you acting like yourself? If you are acting, you're not yourself. If you have to act something. If you are not yourself, how are you natural? Do you understand? So if yeah. you need to act something, act you're not natural. natural. You're not natural anymore. You are acting. Do you get it? Yeah. Do you use do you use these oxymorons or no? Yes. Yeah. Which ones? This one, for example, the boy is coming, acting naturally. The what? The the boy is coming, acting naturally. Oh, yeah. The girl, <laughs> you know. The boy is I coming, acting it. naturally. <laughs> mm -hmm, I get it. Yeah. And what about this one? Do you usually use it? I think we use more like, in Portuguese, we usually use more like the only option. Yeah, but sometimes we use like uh, we we have uh, we have we have three 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 pens for example, but I don't have more this one here. I I have three, but I don't have more this one. So I say yeah, I have, but this one I don't have any more. Yeah, same as stuff and I get it. We have uh, it. We don't have it right now. Uh, Oh, that's right. That's almost like an oxymoron. Yes. We have it, but not right now. Or not anymore. Not today. Come back. To today. I liked it. That's true. We use it. We have it, but don't don't right now or not anymore. I liked it. Yeah. Home. I use that a lot. Yes. Especially when you go to like a, a restaurant or a market and they don't have the product anymore. So you'll be like, we, they have it, but it, they don't have it. <laughs> yes. Um, so the other one. Original copy. Do you use that? Or no? In Brazil, yes. Not here in Portugal. <laughs> no, they don't have the original copy. Oh. Yeah, no, no, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I, don't think so. I would like to know. Do you think there are many differences between Brazil and Portugal? In, in what context? About what? Because in the language, the the like orally, like the language. Yes. Yeah. Like, I, yes, we the ones we just... already know, but do you think? 
Yeah, some, some, for example, uh, yes. they, they are. It's not, my name is Romulo. They saw Romulo. Oh, Romulo? Romulo, yeah, sometimes Romulo. Really? Yes. Uh, sometimes they, they use uh, E in the end of the word. For example, I lived in, in, a, in a city called Villa Flo. Sometimes they say Villa Flore. It's not the oh, Flo, Flore like that, but is Villa Flore. Like we can hear the 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 AI. It's but not there, but it is not there. there. But we can we, we can get the, the the idea that they say <laughs> uh, I without this. I see. And do you think there are many things that you don't understand when they say it? Now I'm saying more because I'm working with just with Portuguese people. So I need to understand all the time. I need to, to call for, for one, then another one received some phone calls. So now I'm the like advanced Portuguese from Portugal right now. <laughs> Do you, do you uh, still prefer Brazilian you. Portuguese? Sorry, but I really think that Portuguese. Each other. Portuguese, Portuguese. Portuguese. Sorry, but I really think it sucks. Can you listen, guys? Guys. Tá gravando faz um tempo já para mim, para mim. Oh my. Can you listen now? Now, yes. Yeah. I was not, I am not really sure. sorry. No worries. Sorry? No, I was no, going to say, I'm really sorry, but I think the Portuguese from Portugal sucks. Yeah, it's, it's more, more, it's not brute. It's not, uh, it's sometimes it, they, they are a little bit hard to, to listen to the, the Portugal from Portugal, but in general, they are good people. Let me show you some guys. Okay. Tell me when you can see it. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so right now, this is the one that we're going to discuss next class, okay? Pandemic mm -hmm. practices that live on. So we have vocabulary review A, B, reading, comprehension, Discussion and writing and personal response. This is the reading. Pandemic practices that, practices that live on, music revival, neighborly kindness, mindful gardening, grooming re, 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 revelations, uh, good sports, the Zoom boom, less in-store shopping, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so read yeah. it at home. Think a little bit about that. Tell me what you think it actually means something. Okay, and we're going to discuss next class. Is that okay? Yes, that's perfect. All right. We actually it's like we finished a little bit earlier today. <laughs> but no what time is it right now, home? Uh, midnight. Uh, half Hi. past midnight. Half past midnight. What time do you wake up usually? 8 a.m. Oh, yeah. Not 9, 9 a.m. But I need to, is this the, the available class for me? So I need to, to be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I see what you mean. To, I mean, to, if you wake up at 9, could be a little bit better. But if you wake up at 8, you have to finish class and go straight to bed, right? Yes, and just. Uh, brush my teeth and go to sleep <laughs> all right so have a good night of sleep home thank you very much next week okay guys okay Thanks see you next time see, Mary. see you guys see you next bye -bye. week see you next time <laughs> see you right. let you go a little bit earlier <laughs> okay bye 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 maddie